camera here. Oh, well, hang on, guys. Hang on. Oh, it's still kind of wonky. Okay. I don't know how to uh, adjust it beforehand, but this will work because you can really see my workspace. Kind of cuts up the top of my head, but it's okay. Nobody needs to see the top of my head. Well, I guess we can see. We're fine. We're fine. Y'all, we are going to use... Oh, it smells so good in here. I took out the big pile of uh, coffee stain. I did some dictionary pages, some smaller music sheets, bigger music sheets. Um, I did some rice paper, blank rice paper, and that came out the best. I'll have to show you, but oh, it smells amazing. And I think the key to it, this time I used Nescafe. <laughs> I sprinkled that on after I soaked it in, you know, how it's like crumpled and it gets a little water in some of the crevices. If you sprinkle a little instant coffee on there and just let it dry like that. But the Nescafe, this stuff's weird. It's kind of like it's vacuum. I don't know. It's, it just disintegrates. But um, it did nice because some of the stuff, it did nice. Is that even a, an expression? See those stains? Ooh, love it. Hey, Claudia. So I was going to use a transfer me, but I'm just not feeling it. I got to blend all this paint and I'm not feeling very blendy. So kind of switched gears and um, I always do bees and birds and I love this frond stamp. So that's what we're going to do. This is going to be a simple project, but I love stuff like this, like this, this I love. I can decorate my whole home like this. Hey, uh, summer, who do you summer? <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, Diana, joy. But now we got to make another decision. Hello, Kimberly, between I haven't used vintage duck egg blue in quite some time, but I love apothecary too. But I think we're going to go with a vintage duck egg. I'm kind of out, so it's probably going to be like mud. It's probably going to be super thick, super thick. Let me show you the, all these guys. If you coffee dye, I suggest you do it in batches. I also did a bunch of material that day. Um, if it's nice out, you can put it in the sun. If it's nice, not nice out. Um, oh, Judy, I'm so excited. I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited about the group. Um, do it in batches because it'll take you a while to go. Just get it all done at once. You don't have to make a ton, but just a little bit of, you know, five pieces of each, even three. Um, if it's not nice out, you can do it in the oven, but just be really careful. Stay right by it. I think you're supposed to keep it at like under 200. And um, just, just keep an eye on it, especially the, the material. So I just did some dictionary pages. I did some music sheets. And oh, it smells so good. But y'all, I love, this is blank rice papers. Um, we have them on the website. Um, I, I, they came out so good. I crumpled them and I, I love them. That's, that's a lot of Nescafe there. <laughs> um, but these came out fantastic. I'm trying to, oh, and then I did larger. These didn't come out so good. And I think, I mean, they're okay. But I think it's because the paper's so, th like, this is some thick paper. So I think if your paper's, you know, on the medium size to the thinner size, you have better luck because the dictionary pages, you can even see the difference between um, the dictionary. And the, although these wrinkle nicer, this is definitely the thinner of the two. So the paper definitely matters. But this, hubba hubba, and smell of it. Some people use um, cinnamon. I mean, you can use whatever you want. I just used coffee, uh, instant coffee melted it down, soaked these in it, put them on a piece of parchment paper while they're wet, sprinkled some instant coffee on it, and that's it. I stuck them in the oven. That's the first time I stuck them in the oven, but um, because it was a crappy day out, but it was no problem. The whole house smelled amazing. It smelled amazing. Could use brown paper. Oh, that's a good idea too, brown paper bags. I just brought some in from the house because there's a project I want to do. Um, so I have this frame. This is thrifted. There's no glass in it. Um, I've had it forever. It's one, I, I feel like I have everything forever. I really do. I try not to shop, but stuff just shows up like online in my bin. <laughs> I got these cardboard pieces that oh, kind of fit. I guess we got to cut that down. All right, let's cut that down to begin with. And no, yeah, let's do that first and then get this guy painted. And we are going to use the bronze stamp. Look at those details in that. This these leaves come out outstanding. I actually just did, I'm still doing my dropped cloth curtains. So instead of ripping them off one by one, I just did the whole stamp like boop. And then I inked it up again and went over and I just, I just rotated it. It came out really nice, really nice. When you get great details on material, then you know it's a good stamp. Uh, what are we doing? We're cutting this. Let's see if I, <laughs> I can cut this. Uh, it's pretty, oh. Oh, maybe it might fit. These things are down. Hold on. Oh, there's a moth in here. <laughs> there's a moth in here. Okay. Oh, that one's all jacked up. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay. So, um, things jump in the Amazon <laughs> card all the time. So, um, we're learning fa um, YouTube. If you could, um, I guess you have to go out of the video, hit the thumbs up. Um, if you can share, I, I'm pretty sure you can copy the link and send it to your Facebook page. 
I think that's the only thing we can do because I know unless you have a YouTube account and you have a community, you can share it there. But if you don't, um, you can share it to Facebook. If you wouldn't mind, it would help me out. We are, last I looked, we are 102 hours away. <laughs> Yay! But we still have to, um, there's still work to be done. Okay, we're almost good that way. We got to cut quite a bit that way. Let's see. I don't know where. Let me just cut and let's see. Oh, let me see right there. Hold on. That's, oh yeah, I'm going to cut on that line right there. I hope for the best. Um, so that's what I understand on how to like and share on YouTube. Uh-oh. There's not a, there's not a little doofickey up here like there was where I just started. That's pretty straight. Y'all see that? Uh, dinner was very good, Claudia. It, it was a very odd combination. I couldn't remember what uh, meat he had said, but oh man, we're so close. Um, we had ham steak with pineapple. Thank you, Judy. Thank you. Hey, Denise. We had ham with pineapple and mine had craisins on it too, which I love them things. And um, I don't want to say fried zucchini, but like pan fried zucchini like in slices and it had all kinds of like parmesan and i don't know it was like a party in my mouth it was delicious um juanita how are you my friend all right i gotta trim this down a tiny bit that way um thanks for joining um and a wicked crispy in the air fryer uh baked potato and it had a bunch of stuff in it too so it was good it was it was good oh look how close <laughs> i'm bending I really trying to force it to fit here. It's so close. Like I hardly need anything cut off, but I gotta, I gotta go all the way because it's this part in the stinking middle. Oh, geez. That's Bowen. Why is it always gotta be the middle part? What the heck, man? Ugh. I have to get the old rotor, the roller out. I have to get the old roller out. Y'all sweating. I would have been on earlier, but I forgot that it was my um. My coaching group has a monthly Zoom um, meeting, think tank. Probably should be like over think tank. <laughs> it should be the name of it. Um, but it's really cool and I didn't want to miss out. But the first time I um, I hit the, I hit the uh, chef Ron made a window door. He's so good. Uh, he needs a DoorDash sim. <laughs> he was laughing. He said, who, somebody wanted me to deliver food to them <laughs> and you're live. I said, yeah. Claudia wants you to DoorDash to her. No, this should not be this hard. Um, so the fir for the first time, I hit my camera. Oh, I'm such a... I'm wondering why it's... No, there's a thing in the middle. Hello? I wonder why it won't fit. <laughs> Idiot. All right, let me, let me do it this way. Good grief. Now it's too short. Crap. No, I think we'll be... I think it'll be all right. Oh, but you know. Um, so I thought I could just test the camera. I think he could come to Michigan. Yeah, he might make his rounds for y'all. He might make his rounds for y'all. All right, so that's got to go on the ins. All right, so we got to go there and there. So I thought I could just test the camera and not actually get on the Zoom. Well, I was I went right on the Zoom. And... Um, it was actually a good thing because it was very impromptu and I usually just hide the background and listen, but it was very impromptu and she brought me right up on, on it. There's only like 20 or 30 and they're all my coaching, you know, friends. And, um, but she just wanted me to tell my story. So that, uh, if you want something bad enough, you will find a way to make it happen. Um, and I, I said a bad word. But I couldn't help it because that's how I felt. <laughs> the F bomb came right out. Like, but I couldn't help it because honestly, that's really how I felt. And uh, yeah, it was good. It was good, anyways. A little embarrassing, and I was sweating. Hey, Lorraine. I don't. I. I, I don't. I don't know why I'm okay here, but being put on the spot like that was a little weird. Y'all, I hope this fits. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go with the. Oh, dang, that one's. Ah, oh, that one's too small. I think we get, well, crap. It's got a little peaky hole. Hey, Tasha. It's got a little peaky hole. Can you see the little peaky hole? 
right up there in the corner. I wasn't giving you the bird. I just, crap. Well, that one will fit if we go that way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, no, no. Son of a gun. I gotta, I gotta make it a little bigger. Let's do this. Nothing's ever easy. Uh, uh, is this a whole piece? No, this is part of a piece. All right, so let's go. Let's follow this thing. Okay, so if we go to there, let's follow this thing right here. Let's see what that does for us. I can't believe I didn't notice that thing in the middle. I mean, it's kind of hard to miss. <laughs> what the heck? I don't know. I was just assuming it was one, one piece. That's straight-ish. As long as it covers the holes, it's fine. Oh, now it's too long. I knew that. I knew that. Oh, you know what? Are these are these gonna show up? These circles? Can you see the circles? I bet you they are. Tell Ron to come to Fa California. We have a duck and pheasant club. Oh, now, oh, he'll be on the next plane out. Hey, Vicky. Welcome. How are you? Thanks for uh, thanks for uh, hopping. What is going on here? Thanks for hopping on here. I don't know what I'm, I'm just trying to cut a piece of cardboard. That's trace this one, Trace. I, you know, the old brain just doesn't function. As soon as I hit that live button, I don't care where, what platform I'm on. It's just gone. This, my brain is just, it's gone. There you go. I'm gonna cut this one a little short. I mean, a little longer. Just to be on the same side. Cindy! Hey. Don't fit. Still don't fit. <laughs> uh, try it again. How many cuts does it take? Bingo. Just remind me I got to push that one over because a little hole will come out. A little hole will come out. Good grief. It's just cardboard. Okay. Got that. We're done. <laughs> just wanted to show you guys how to cut cardboard. How not to cut cardboard. All right, we're going, we're going vintage duck egg, y'all. Dixie Bell. I, I can't imagine what this looks like inside. This is clay-based paint, so it's probably like one big blob of clay. Cindy, I was going to make, I was going to do this. Um, it's really pretty. I've got these two, again, had them forever, wood antique, just plain oval frames. They're beautiful. I've always, I, I take them out, put them back. Anyways, they don't have any glass. They don't have any back, nothing. I made a cardboard back. I was going to do one of the transfer me's on it, but it doesn't quite fit the whole thing. So I got to do like a lot of blending and I'm just not feeling blendy, not feeling blendy. I would have been on earlier, but like I said, the zoom call went for two hours. So it's pretty thick. <laughs> like it's like, um, the frosty at the, uh, dairy queen. when they show you pretty thick stuff, pretty thick stuff. So let's get a popsicle stick. Oh, I got my shirt stuck in the thing here in the drawer. We're going to have to dig some of this out. So I think I want to, I mean, this is okay, but I don't want it white. But I don't mind the white coming through, and I don't mind this black already coming through. So um, let's stick a little candle wax. We're going to kind of dry brush this. The last time I tried to um, make like that metal sign with the pig and the sheep and the, and the rooster off camera. No, actually I did video, but you're not going to see it. It was the ugliest thing I've ever made in my life. <laughs> I saw it today. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was, but this is pretty ugly. Pretty ugly. So hopefully that doesn't come out. This doesn't come out like that. I'm just going to put a little wax on these black areas. Not all of them, just some of them. Um, and see what happens. See what, I, like vas I like how Vaseline works. Like, I think it's very efficient. But I, I think it makes your project all kind of funky. Like, just, I don't know. I can't ever seem to get all the Vaseline off. It seems like two months later, it kind of soaks into your project and it's kind of gone. But I don't know what the trick is to that. So, yeah, there's that. I'm sure there's a trick. I just haven't figured it out yet. I haven't figured it out yet. I'm making a lot of noise. That's what I'm doing. Did I already do this side? I don't know. I don't know. Woo wee. If you guys are just hopping on, um, from what I understand, if you could go, I, I don't, I guess you have to go out of the video to do a thumbs up. I need to get on somebody's live. And so I know too, cause I don't know. Um, but you have to go out to give a thumbs up and there's also an option to share or copy the link. But I, I, if you don't have a YouTube 
page for yourself, then I you can share it to Facebook or another platform. I don't know if I'm even speaking 100% correctly on anything I just said, but that's my assumption. That's my assumption. Oh my gosh, y'all. I don't even know if this is any good. I'll have to add some water. If you haven't figured out the Vaseline trick, thanks for sprinkling, Denise. Look at this stuff. Is it any good? Maybe I'll have to add a little water. Um, yeah, I mean, the Vaseline really works great, but then you hit it with the dryer and then it melts. I try to dab it off the paper towel, but that greasy doesn't ever seem to go away. Uh, no, you just have to drop down the chat. Okay, Kim, thank you. That's even better. You can do a thumbs up while watch. Oh, see, thank you. I have no idea. I'm not going to pretend like I know because I don't. Like I seriously have no clue. Uh, you only need to lie, uh, need to leave the live to chat. Oh, you have to leave. Wait, what? You need to only leave the. You have to leave the live to chat. Well, that seems silly. Well, why would you do that? I don't understand that. Oh, we might not be able to use this paint. I don't know. I'm gonna have to order me another one. It's pretty thick. <laughs> this is like plaster. I did it all from YouTube page and have to. Oh, very good. You don't have to leave. Oh, truth. You know, I need some YouTube lessons. You know, I Googled it. Um, I did Google it <laughs> just today. And it was giving me all the information on a live, like being live on Facebook. I couldn't get anything like watching a live. So I did try. I did try. If I didn't have this on here, I could bet you that this would be one dried up thing of paint. One dried up thing of paint. There is a um, really, really cute... Um, antique store. It's probably like 30 minutes from here, but we used to, I used to love to go to it. They sell Dixie Bell in there. Um, it, it, a lot of stuff's expensive in there. Uh, where does the, the wax works as a resist. So the wax will just help resist the paint that I put on there. You'll be able to like scrape it off or do it with the dryer. You can't be full screen or have chat open to see menu bar. Oh, I got some learning to do y'all. I got some learning. Y'all have paint everywhere. I haven't even started. This is a bad idea. <laughs> Look, it's like, what the heck? How did that even happen? This stuff's like paste. Oh my God. <sighs> Ladies, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Cindy. I really appreciate it. I'm loving Facebook more and more every day. I'm going to try to squirt some water in here. I don't know what else to do at this point. Because it's some thick. Probably started got a bigger container. To start with, hmm. <laughs> it now looks like putty and water. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's oh, it's getting creamier. It's working. It's this is mineral base. I think I said this is clay base when I first came out. It's mineral base. Mineral base is Dixie Bell. DIY is clay. Okay, that worked. Phew. I'm sweating bullets there for a minute. Ah, uh, thank you, Cindy. Just thumbed up and share. Yes, Joy, thank you. Joy, you're a joy. 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 I had a terrible adult day. Not terrible, but I just don't like adult days. I think they're stupid. <laughs> I think they're stupid. Ah, uh, go figure. I got another Facebook update. That's shocking. That That is shocking. You guys think we can almost achieve, not quite this, more like the, I think we can achieve with this new spray pen. I want to try to achieve this look with just the spray pens. Because if you wanted that kind of look on the fly and not have to take the time to, I don't know. We got to test it. Gotta test the spray pen, y'all. Test the spray pen. Okay. I need to paint this. I need to paint this. Ooh. Yes, we do. Paint it. Um, chippy brush chippy brush. I need some garbage bags in here. Oh, I go through a lot of garbage. I have three garbage cans in here and I feel like they're full every other day. Anybody else like that in their craft room? Like it's crazy. What takes up a lot of space though is the um the IOD stuff comes in packs of three and they have those big cellophane. I can't stand those things with a sticky on them. Those take up a lot of space. Like they don't crumble. They don't crumble well. I wish I could find another use for them. But I haven't yet. Wow, this is thick. Wow, this is thick. Thick, thick, thick. 
Okay, I was going to try to dry brush this, but I don't know if it's going to be dry brushable. So let's go on the edges and see what we got. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. That's pretty. Not going for full coverage here. At all. Not full coverage at all. I'm going to paint myself into a corner. I can see. <laughs> but yeah, wow, it's thick. Should be good coverage. Aw, Cindy, thank you. I, I'm clearly in love with you guys, too, because uh, you've changed my life. I mean, there's some individuals that stand out more than others, but as a group is how this all became. So I'm tired of adulting. <laughs> this is a long... I hear you, Joy. It's your time. It's your turn, my girl. Why are the crafting women so hot? Like, oh, geez. <laughs> we just can't help it. We just, talent comes with beauty. It's just something, us creators, we just can't help. It's not easy to wake up every day looking this good. <laughs> Takes work. Ah, oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot. Yo, I think this is going to be a disaster. Disaster. Can't be any worse than uh, last week or the, or, Whenever it was, not too long ago when I did that mustache circle round thing and um, I was going to crackle the stencil and if my stencil stuck to the the decoupage paper. Did you guys get to see that one? Oh my goodness. We recovered, but whoa, I never had that happen before. Never had that happen. I will not have that happen again. That was, that was a big, that was a big mistake. Oh, it came out good though. Did come out good. It's a good recovery. Good recovery process. <laughs> oh. So, if you're using that crackle primer stuff, y'all that stuff is sticky, very sticky, <laughs> very sticky, so sticky. I got lucky though, cause that whole thing could have stuck to it. I really did get lucky. I'm just getting. I'm just gonna put this one coat out and see what it looks like. If we got to go in again, if it looks kind of eh, needs more, then that's what we're going to do. And then we'll get it off of our, um, we, it, yeah, we learn from our, absolutely. Um, uh, get that off. Oh, I'm making a mess. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yo, a hundred and two more hours. They, they only update it the, for my hours for YouTube to um qualify they only update it like once a day or i don't know once every 12 hours i'm not really sure i think it's once a day but the last i looked 102 hours <laughs> so excited kathy b hey my friend thanks for being here um but once you do that um once you do qualify you got to fill out all this paperwork in order to be accepted. And um, one of the thing, um, just living the dream, living the dream. I miss you. I got an emoji I got to send you and uh, you and Jim. I meant to do it, but last night was Sunday. I was like, oh, it's not, they're not working. Um, uh, but you have to wait like four to six weeks to, uh, we do uh, two, two to six weeks to get some code in the mail to verify. I mean, I guess it's good because there's no mistaking who you are or, you know, that you're not an imposter. So I guess it's a good thing, but man, oh man, you got to wait all that time. It's going to seem like an eternity. It's going to seem like an eternity. And then if for some reason you get turned down, you can reapply in 30 days. So let's hope for the best. Hope for the best. I'm excited. I'm excited. That's what we got going on so far. Vintage duck egg by Dixie Bell is what we're using. And, um, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I got the air down to 75, y'all. Ooh, but I'm sweating. I don't know why. Because I'm so hot. <laughs> Did I really just say that? Oh, I need some sleep. I need some sleep. No, I don't. I won't be in bed till sleep until 3. I have been able to push my... So I'm like two hours ahead of what I used to be on my work schedule. So I'm getting there. I mean, if I work this... If I work, uh, slept this schedule for so many years, I'm just, I'm just hot. <laughs> Not a hot flash, just, whew, it's humid. It's humid. Um, I worked that shift for so many years. Two, two hours off, um, 
isn't too bad. Chimbo! Jelly! I did get a mini split, but it's in the middle of the room, and so it's like, blo it's making its way here, but I turned it, like, up before I, I left, and then I just turned it down when I come back in here, so. I have the app on my phone. You think I would have adjusted it then? No, didn't do that. Y'all, this is, like, really starting to chunk up again, but it's going on pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. Whew. Paint myself in a corner. All right. Well, see, I, I didn't really put that wax on too heavy, so I don't know what that's going to do, but let's see what we got. You know what I could do, too, is we could just go over those spots with some white wax and dark wax. That'd probably make more sense. But I feel like we always do that. <laughs> Did you guys see that turquoise, uh, new turquoise wax, metallic wax from Pentart? I don't know what to put it on, but I want to put it on some. It's so vibrant. It's so vibrant. I have nothing to put it on. Nothing out, like, nothing. A blank mold. I might just do that just to use it. <laughs> just to use it. Uh, it's funny. Funny, funny, funny. Like I said, I was going to do that transfer me. That's that, that page that, those prints that are like, um, the old tattoos you put on with water. It's like, uh, like one of those, but I just, it's going to be a lot of blending and I'm not feeling very blendy. Not feeling very blendy. Jim and Kathy. Miss you guys. Miss you guys. This hot heater is not helping with my sweats. Whew. These are drying pretty quick. That's good. That's a plus. That's a plus. I don't sweat, you guys. I'm sweating. Oh, you missed me. Oh, nobody could take my place. I was on a Zoom meeting today, like right before I got on here, but it was a fun one. It was a coaching. <laughs> uh, wasn't like those kind of Zoom meetings. Wasn't like those. So this frame I picked up, I couldn't even tell you when, at a thrift store. There's no glass. There's no back. There's no nothing. It was just like came just like this. We just cut some cardboard that really took me longer than it should have. Because um, I was trying to cut one piece and it's actually two. <laughs> So it wouldn't, I kept wondering why I was bending, why it wouldn't fit. So, what is that? Oh, see what the wax is doing? See that part right there? It's kind of lifting up. So the paint is resisting there, wherever we put the wax. Okay, I think that's good. Let's see. I should really wrap this up because this stuff is drying up on us super quick. <sighs> super quick. Oh, oh dear. Oh boy, let's put this on there. Put this on there and that on there. Uh, I'm gonna wet wipe it. I'm gonna wet wipe it and see if it'll come off where our wax was before I try a scraper. Yeah, that's totally working. So wherever there's like the bigger black marks, I used candle wax. Um, just rubbed it on there so it'd work as a resist. Wasn't bad looking to begin with, with the white, but it's white. It's white. We don't want white. We don't want white. I don't know where I put the candle wax. <laughs> it's not just rubbing everywhere. I don't, really don't know. I know it was on these black spots, but I covered some of them up. So how do you know where they are? How do you know where they are now? You don't. Just pretend you know what you're doing. Oh, look at that. See that one come off? Woo, that was a good one. Oh, I did do it on those parts too, didn't I? Sure enough. Um, the best, uh, the best paint to dry or wet distress is DIY paint because it's clay-based paint and it reactivates with water. So if you don't like to sand, um, oh, he loved his shirt. He really loved it. He's like, can I put it on? I was like, no, <laughs> I got a heat set at first. He'll have that thing stained up in no time. I should know better not to buy him white, but I like, I like. I like um, stenciling and stuff on white. I find if it's a really good, um, hey Donna, I find if it's a really good quality white shirt that the stains tend to come out for whatever reason. But he'll have blood on it and he had a white shirt on today and one of those green, there are so many freaking caterpillars around here. It's like, it, when I come to my shed in the morning, it's like Spider-Man was on my porch. It's, it, it's like, oh, 
he could do with one of those. But he had one of them green worms on him. And he smeared it on his white shirt. And it thought this big green blob across his shirt now. He just put it on. Okay. He's doing the laundry these days, so. Hanging it on the line, which I love. Although, the whites are a little crispy. I have to... I have to admit, I'm kind of kind of digging the crisp. I'm kind of digging the, the crispiness of the laundry. I think we're going to leave this like this, guys. And for some reason, I don't like it when we put everything else in it. We'll just either, we can always paint it again or we can add waxes to it. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I was saying, if you don't like to sand because you get all the crap everywhere, um, I suggest trying DIY paints because you can, they reactivate with water. You can literally take all the paint off that you just, um, put on if it hasn't cured. So I, you probably got a good three days. It takes 30 days to fully cure. Um, uh oh, where are my cardboards that I was going to use? Those don't look the same size. I was fanning myself. Uh, I don't know where they went. That is not it. There, these two? What is this one, our short one? That's short. How come these are both short? Oh, one of them I gotta push over, that's the short one. Okay, we're good. Oh, we're good, we're good. I'm not even gonna paint these because they're already white. Um, so we're just gonna decoupage over these. I'm just gonna decoupage over these. Oh, I wonder, I can't get two out of one, no. No, no, no. So glad you're living here. I am Lisa. Yeah, bam. <laughs> bam. Um, I am. I, I really, I can't believe this is my life. I just, I could cry thinking about it. Like, I just feel like I'm the luckiest girl on the planet. I'm very grateful. I'm very thankful. I'm all the things. I really am. Be careful, wasp, bees, your clothes. When you hang. Yes. Tammy, the, I was walking out of the shed, not last night, the night before. It was like two, three in the morning. I got like three steps and a freaking beetle flew in my hair and it was stuck in my granola roll. I freaked. Like, if there was a camera out there, oh my God, I was so embarrassed. The glasses came off. By the time I got my house, the hair was, every time I thought I got rid of it, I could hear it go, <laughs> it was stuck in, oh. Ugh. This is going to be a little hard to cut this stupid thing here or sand or whatever we're gonna do all right let's just put some stuff down yeah it was not a good time not a good, i was that was not oh this is for text this is the wrong stuff this is this is for textile this is what we were using earlier for uh shirts we need uh oh do i have any where's it at uh here it is Ultra Matt. Oh, you deserve good things. Aw, thank you, Judy. Look at our shirt. We started it yesterday. So I was gifted three flannels. The next flannel, I'm definitely going to bleach the pocket because I think it'll give it a little more pop. But I did do the cuffs and I decoupaged a little roses on each one on the front. They kind of look dirty, but it's not dirty. It's, it's the way the fabric is with a white. And then we put this decoupage, this, and then just tonight, I added this on the bottom with some boar blue chalk paste. So I still got to heat set it. And by heat setting this, that'll make the rice paper washable. So I'm excited to do the other ones because that was a lot of fun. That was easy. I've never bleached a shirt before. And um, uploaded it to your video. Oh, another video just uploaded. I've been trying to upload that video like all stinking day. I did a glass cases. We're gonna use um, Pentart decoupage glue, ultra matte. This is probably gonna curl up on us, but what can we do? Oh, what can we do? Uh, as I mentioned, you and I worked hard to get. Yes, we really did. We really did. And um, um, uh, leading up to all of this, we always worked hard to pay stuff off too. So it wasn't like you know, we had $500,000 in debt. You know what I mean? We, um, thank you, Donna. A lot. I can't wait to make some more. Um, you know, we did things to, we didn't expect to be here this soon. Things just kind of happened. 
things did happen. I mean, none of this was planned. We planned to live up here someday when we were older, but, you know, we didn't expect it this soon. And, um, but I think, you know, the, the groundwork we did before leading up to this is what really allowed us to do what we were doing, you know? I mean, are we going to retire with as much money as we were going to if we still continue to work? No, no, probably not. I mean, you never know, but I'm finding that time is more important than, um, than money. Hello, my sweet friend Sheila with Simply Simple Creations by Sheila. Um, I mean, I don't want to worry about money, but I don't. Y'all, I lost the other side again. Um, I don't want to worry about paying the bills, but I also don't need a lot. Does that make any sense? Any news on this stuff? Neither. So the other house um, has not sold yet. It's only been on the market like a little over two weeks. Um, and, um, we went high because I feel like, I mean, I've never sold a house before, so I don't know, maybe we're wrong, but, um, uh, <laughs> Jim, you got to follow Miss Sheila. You got to follow Miss Sheila, Jim. <laughs> um, Jim's not a creeper, y'all. He's my friend. He's my buddy. He's my friend. Um, the insane fella there. Uh, we went high because I thought it looks better if you go high than you go you know, low and bring it back up. And, um, our timing is kind of bad because of all the stuff that happened with the banks, but whatever. So there's two houses that end up, they're in the same air comparable. They're going to be comparables that are about to close. Um, I don't know when they sold. I think they sold before we put ours on the market. Um, but their closing date is, Oh, is I think one is the 29th and the other is like April in the beginning of April. So, um, our realtor is our friend and, um, uh, she said, let's see what those sold for. Um, and then readjust our price. Cause we're right there. We're like the house, the square footage, the house, to be honest with you, I know we all think our own house is way better than others, but our house is way better than this one. Um, so I'm interested to see what they got for it. Um, it's, they, it, you could tell it was a flip, but they just put in like, I don't want to say generic, but generic, you know what I mean? Like the cheap flooring, the cheap kitchen, you know, th that kind of stuff. Um, so it's new, it's got, everything is new, but we just replaced everything new in our house too, but it's like real wood and <laughs> not the Formica crap and you know, that kind of stuff. So I'm just drying this so I can, uh, cut the excess off and then we'll put another coat of this on it and then we'll actually builder grade yeah instead of saying cheap that's a much better way to say it base yeah so um we'll see what those two go for and um probably adjust our price and I, we went into knowing it um if it was this time last year it probably would have sold and probably would have been a bidding war but it didn't and it wouldn't and woulda shoulda coulda um but it is what it is. It is what it is. I know in my heart that it's a good house. Um, just because we we always were up, updating everything and on top of it and, you know, all those things. This is cardboard, so I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, I might just have to, I'm just going to cut it. I don't think sand in this, it's not very strong cardboard. So I'm just going to cut it. You're not going to see the edges anyways because it's going to be stuffed in the frame. And uh, there's that. There's that. These are some good scissors. This looks interesting. Yeah, I know. Like the timing couldn't be worse with the with the uh, <laughs> the interest rates. But you know, everything's gonna happen as it's gonna happen. We don't have any control over that, and um, you know, it is what it is. Um, I mean, we lived there for 23 years. We got it was a good house for us. It was a great neighborhood. Lots of great memories, you know. Of course, if you can make more money on it, that's great. But, you know, what can you do? What can you do? So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, it's what, I know it, Jim. I told you, it's, it's not easy being this beautiful and looking this young. It's just not. It takes a lot of work. You should have seen me yesterday. I was glowing. 
I don't know if it's the lighting in here because I came live during the, um, no, this is, now I know why we sand it. It's hard to cut this way. I came live when it was still light out. I look very radiant. <laughs> I really did. I was kind of shocked myself. I like didn't even look like I had wrinkles. It was great. Now I look all wrinkly and sweaty and <laughs> oily. Y'all do not let me put these in upside down or one upside down and one the other way. I don't, there is, there's no hangers on this, so we can't go wrong there, but I can go wrong with the writing. I can totally go wrong with the writing. All right. All right I'm going to stamp, but you know, I didn't see, I hope there's two stamps in here that will oh, fit. I didn't think of that. Oh yeah. Nice snug fit. It's hard to see any. All right. That's what we got so far. But now I gotta pop them out. This color looks good with it. A little bit of white, a little bit of black. Bam, bam, bam. That's for you, Jim. All right. Um, okay, those are the right way. So we're gonna use the fronds. I love the bees and the birds, and but I feel like I'm always doing the bees and the birds. So we're gonna do the fronds. Well, I think we're gonna do the fronds if they're gonna fit. Uh, if they're gonna fit. Fit. That one fits. The reason I didn't use the music sheet <clears throat> is because I thought it was too busy for the details that are in these stamps because they're great. But for whatever reason, the smaller writing, I feel like it gives it, uh, I don't know. I think it was the better choice. All right. What about this one? That one's close. That one's close. I did not bring, I didn't bring the masks to the table, so we can't mask them off. We could do those three. I kind of, I think we're going to take a chance with this guy. I'm going to try uh, this one and that one. This one and that one. But we need some acetate. Acetate is what we need for not these big concrete pieces. Oh, come on. All right, there we go. This is why you need extra thin mounts, guys. Acetate for this reason right here. So you can handle your stamps without getting ink all over yourself. And um, it makes it a nice surface to be able to rub down on the top of your stamp so you get good adhesion. Because I don't know if you've ever tried to rub on the top of one of these, but it's, you know, what do you call it? Uh, the rubber stuff. So it doesn't, um, your fingers just drag on it. And if you've never taken your stamps off of here and you're like, holy crap, I'm going to break this thing in half. You won't. Just some of them are really hard to get off. Um, but they won't break. I promise they won't break. But you might feel like they're going to break, but they won't break. I did this totally backwards, but that's all right. Okay. These are also great if you're going to do a word. Um, Jim Brown knows in the... <laughs> that's what Jim does. That's what Jim does. Jim's my buddy. Jim's my buddy for a long time. Many, 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 many years. Um, these are great, too, if you're doing words. Like, if you ever try to stamp, like, even the word the, individual stamps... There's no way you're going to get it straight, but this way you can lay it out on your project exactly how you want it and then put your mount down, pick them up, and then you can ink it and stamp it all in one shot. So you'll thank me later. We're going to use black. Bam. I would eat black. Y'all have been using, I've been stamping full. Stamping full. My curtains are coming out. My valances are coming out amazing. However, I cannot ink one of these without getting ink or I don't want it. I don't know why. I just cannot do it. That's why you don't want to ever ink your stamp on your surface that you're using because I don't know. Can you guys see? See all the black I got? See right there? It's everywhere. You don't want that. That will be on your surface and you'd be mad. It's another reason why you need the scent. Or you can cut your stamps out individually and just use um, the the plastic they come on because that's pretty thick all right here we go here we go here we go here we, it's still wet but that's all right we're gonna give it a um oh we're gonna give it a, another coat of um 
what do you call it? Medium to seal it all up. All right, so let's go a little bit on an angle. Oh, my stomach's making noises. Okay. Oh, not exactly where I want it, but that's where it's going. Once it's down, it's down. Don't try to shift it because if you shift it, you're just, you're going to muddle it all up and it's going to look terrible. If it's crooked, go with it. And it's going to look better crooked than it's going to look better all smeared. So just go with it. Anchor it down with one hand and literally make sure you get every single inch of that stamp because there's not enough weight of the stamp for it to connect with your surface. And you'll see, you'll, you'll do it. You'll miss, you'll miss the spot and you'll be like, oh, I won't do that again. Look how good that is. Instant art, instant grungy art. Love it, love it. Oh. My stomach's growling like I'm hungry, but I just ate. Well, two, a couple hours ago. Make a mess, the corners of the stamps to protect your surfaces. You could use the mask. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't think I read that right. You can use the mask to, the, I don't know. I saw, I saw, <laughs> hey, Heidi. I saw someone use um, clear tape. They used, they didn't have this, so they used um, tape, and which is kind of brilliant because if you were going to go around something, um, the tape just take it right around for you. So that was pretty brilliant. This one really doesn't fit in there too good. So it's probably going to have stuff cut off, but that, that's fine. I'm just wondering if I should go on an angle. Yeah, I think I'll go on a little angle. Go straight up and down. We're going... What's wrong with me? I'm <laughs> going on an angle. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. See? Ink all over the place. I can't seem to get it, like, level. Straight. Look. I, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere, man. This is a very simple project. I love this type of stuff. I feel like... I, I don't feel like you can buy this kind of stuff. I love the look of it. Um... I don't know. I could make these all day, I feel like. The this kind of stuff and um making like new stuff look old, like uh the jars, making the jars into crockery, looking like old age crockery. I love that. I could do those all day. But y'all probably get sick of seeing that all day long. She's doing it again. She's she's on the crock again, y'all. She's on the crock. Uh, okay. Oh boy, let's crack myself up, crack myself up. For those of you who don't know, we got a subscription group starting. Uh, it's gonna open April 1st, Saturday. Um, it'll be available, uh, open. And then our first class meetup will be Wednesday. Um, uh, Wednesday, April 5th, look at that one. That one came out good. Oh my God, Kimberly, that dresser. I'm so in love with it. And I was so sad because <laughs> I didn't realize at the time, it's such a long story behind this, this furniture. I can't really say too much because I might hurt someone's feelings. But anyways, um, that dresser, what really makes that dresser is that top piece that has the spindles. And then the spindles, that mirror is so, it's got to be 50 pounds. Um, well, the spindles broke. Um, and it broke where it goes into that part that sits on the dresser. And I... I ended up, I didn't know if I could fix it. So I bought that, we we had bought that JB Weld to do the steel on the cargo because I was leaking rainwater. And I thought, well, they, they had one for wood. So I thought that was easy to use and it worked really good. I can't believe how good that stuff worked um, because I thought there's no way. First of all, how are these two dinky spindles holding this 50 pound mirror up to begin with? But it totally worked. It totally worked. I do have to put a video together because I just took pictures of it here and there. Man, stuff was really good. So that mirror really made it. I'd love to redo that dresser like totally, but I mean, I don't, I don't know how you'd have to paint it or whatever. And I don't want to, I don't think it's ready for all that. It's got a few chips in it, but I don't mind the chips at all. I kind of like it. <laughs> so I love that thing. It's huge. That is a big dresser. It's so big that I can like put double my pants in there. Like, you know what I mean? Two rows. <laughs> so that's great. Because our living quarters are tiny. Tiny. We live in a tiny house. <laughs> really do. 
600 and what did I say? 24 square feet, 627 square. Very small, but very functional. Next up is the living room. I want to rearrange that, take some stuff out and in, and but I got to go through some of the boxes and the cargo, and then I also got to go through. We're gonna have to have an auction. I got so much crap, you guys. I mean, I have so many beautiful things you guys would love. Um, so we need to we need to, we need to do that, but that's all in there too. All right, I've cooked these. They smell really smell like coffee now. I'm gonna put another coat on this. They're hot. They're just hot right now. I think that one came out so nice. Look at the details. Even in between the grunge. Look Look at my cut job. Like it's terrible. Like a kindergartner did it. But who cares? Because you're not going to see it. I love that. Love it. Love it. I don't know if you guys saw if, um, last night when I was doing the, um, or yesterday when I was doing that flannel. I still can't stop thinking about that. Um, the Pentart textile was the weirdest it was acting so weird it was like bub it was i can't even explain it it was like bubbling not bubbling up but it looked like cottage cheese but then it it performed exactly as it oh it should and it it always does but it was just the texture of it was just off and it still is so i don't know if it's the bottle when you ink the mask have a silhouette and the outer frame um I still didn't get it. I mean, I still, you're talking about a mask? Um, I don't, I don't, I don't catch what you're, I'm not catching what you're throwing. Back in the day, things were built stronger. Yeah, that's so true, Kimberly. That is so true. Um, I don't know. I know when you cut, if you, when I cut, when I cut my stamps individually off, I leave room all the way around. Is that what you mean? <laughs> Is that what you mean? Ugh. Even the kids aren't built like we used to be built, y'all. We are like diehard generations. Like we did some really, really dumb shit. Like, and we're alive, like to to tell. <laughs> we're alive to tell. Like, just think of. I could tell you five dumb things. Well, I'm not gonna tell you, but I could think of five really dumb things. They're probably more complicated. <laughs> Sorry, Heidi. I, I just. It's not computing. And it's probably my brain. I'm just, it doesn't work well when I'm live. I say I hit that live button anywhere and half my brain goes with the button. I don't know why that is. Nerves, adrenaline, fear, anxiety. I don't know. Happiness. I don't know. I don't know. But man, this just smells good when you heat these up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This would be a great gift. I might keep this set. My favorite one's that bee I did. I love that bee from A Maker Studio. They got the best bee. I'm a bee snob, and that is one good-looking bee. That bee stamp is... That's what I'm going to do one of my curtains with. Kids nowadays know how to use... No, they do not know how to use their imagination. They don't know how to... I mean, they know how to do a lot of stuff we don't know how to... We didn't know how to do, but that wasn't available to us back then. But, like you said, we had a... This is embarrassing. This is very sad. I remember playing Chinese jump rope by myself. How did you do that, Trace? Well, I had a chair, and I used the chairs as my friends, and that was their feet. You know, remember Chinese jump rope? And then I used to love it. I could probably still do it, you know, in the Chinese jump rope, and you, like, do all those things with your fingers, and then the next person takes it, and you do... We need to get one. They still sell Chinese jump ropes? We need one of those. Sadly, kids, attention spans. Uh, t right, Jim? So th these stupid reels and, uh, you know, I feel like they, they have forced us to take, and I'm not saying creatives are, um, cat's a cradle. I I'm not saying that creatives uh, are the, the hottest thing at, to watch, but I feel like that the, the uh, which is broom. I feel like the, um, the, the reels and the shorts and, all this stuff um, have forced us to do our four hour craft in 50 seconds. You know what I mean? And then you get some people like, it's going too fast. I can't watch it. And I was like, well, you can't win. You cannot win. And then I bust my hump 
on these videos, and then my husband over here, Mr. Nutbag, catches a, a snake and he videos it. He gets 5,000 views like that. I'm like, Ser <laughs> seriously? Seriously. You love Chinese Joe for the cat? Yeah, oh, the cat's in the crowd. That's crazy. See, Heidi, that went right over my head, too. Um, there's not enough meat in here. So guess what I got to do? I'm going to cut two more. <laughs> I'm going to cut two more. Uh, um, yeah, so I don't know. I, I just think I, I can't stand. I got to grab another piece of cardboard. I can't stand the reels. We have to do them because, you know, it's all part of the game. But here's, I finished uh, this too. This is what we did live. That was a good, he is, he loves that stuff. He, he he's, he's a madman. Uh, we did this live on YouTube last night, but um, I ended up, I don't know if you can see, but I did the crackle stamp because it looked, it looked way too new. So you see kind of the crackle, it kind of aged it up a little. It looked new, but um, that was pretty cool. We just rolled it over a stamp, inked the stamp and then rolled it with... Wild cherry, wild berry. This is trying to talk about. Dang it, I missed it. It's one thing I can't get used to the YouTube is, um, thank you, Jim. Uh, the comments come up and then fade like super fast. Where on Facebook they at least scroll so you have a little time to watch them. Not so much here. Is he really just awesome? He, um, I, I can remember him. I, I can remember the kids, all the, all the kids, they were like tweens on the in the back room used to be their room and um he uh there was a there was a black racer in the backyard and our windows are kind of low to the ground and he like comes flying out the door and he's grabbing the the black racer like it's you know some huge snake he's rolling around and the kids are all like ah <laughs> glued to the window they thought that was the coolest thing yeah he is he loves loves snakes not me not me. As a matter of fact, he had a pet. Um, oh, yarn for the cat. Oh, I never thought of yarn for the cats in the cradle. Oh, that's good thinking. Um, I, I did not want any pets as snakes because I know what happens. They escape. Oh, Trace, this one won't escape. One-eyed Fred. Okay, he's a red rat. Just like that oak, it, oak snake gray, uh, gray rat. Same thing. Depends who you ask. Well, they have a red rat, too. Um, he loves snakes. Some people do. Um, some of the comments were hilarious. Burn the property down. and <laughs> Some people are funny. Um, red rat snake. One-eyed Fred. Guess what? Fred's not in the cage. Can't find Fred. Uh-oh, I think this is stuck. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Can't find Fred anywhere. Look everywhere. They like to go under the stove. They like to go anywhere. He's gone. He's gone. Well, I don't know, maybe three, four, five weeks later. Uh, Kathy might remember this. Um, Tracy goes to get her pajamas out. What do you think's in there? One-eyed Fred in my pajama drawer. I about died. I about died. I was so mad. I was so mad. After, of course, I got done, you know, dying. <laughs> I died. I died for a minute. Yep. And Ron's all like, oh, Fred, I missed you. No. He, Fred's got to go. <laughs> Fred's out of here, y'all. Fred is no longer a resident here. So Fred had to move out. Find mine. You find yours sunning in the window? I bet. I, I don't, I mean, they're, I don't mind them on the property because I know, um, I'd rather, they eat rats. I'd rather have a snake than rats. What is happening here? Um, snakes eat rats. Rats like chickens. Wherever you have chickens, you have rats. Why is this so big? Am I cutting them? <laughs> why am I having so much trouble with this thing? Oh, I got it. No wonder why. Look how I cut it. Um. Yeah, I'd rather have a snake any day than rodents. Let's just put it that way. And they're harmless. They're harmless. Although we did see uh, one coral snake on the property um, a few months ago. And then when it, in the rainy season, because there's a swamp on the other side. Um, uh, what do you call them? The, uh, the water, 
the water snakes there. Um, very aggressive. Um, this isn't working too good either. I might need to build this up again, but I'm not going to make you watch that. Um, water moccasins. Those we have. Um, I've never seen a rattlesnake, but they are around here. As a matter of fact, um, there's a lake. Lake Seminole, you guys. Um, snakes will eat your chickens too. I don't... Yeah, they might. They might. But I, the chickens are... I've seen the chickens go around a black racer and like they gang up. They, they're a gang. Those chickens are a gang and they will, they really circle the snake and, and go after the snake. I've seen it. I've seen them do it. I was freaking out. I didn't know what to do. Um, but they, this guy fishes Lake Seminole. It's just, just big lake in Florida. Fresh brackish. Well, it was fresh water, but brackish. And, uh, second time there was a rattlesnake swimming across the top of the water. And this thing, I'm telling you, it must've been pregnant. It was like, it was huge. I didn't know rattlesnakes, first of all, swam. And I didn't know they were in fresh water. Uh, I never thought of... I don't think I've ever done the Chinese jump rope with yarn. But that makes total sense. You saw the snake in... Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. Cat's cradle. Oh, just... Uh, yeah, we all know the cat's in the cradle, so... I sang that in my kindergarten, kindergarten or first grade uh, concert. They had us sing Cats in the Cradle. What a good tune. This is still needs help because <laughs> it's not staying in there too good. Well, that's what we got, y'all. I think, I don't know if it needs. I might add some white wax on there just to soften it. I don't know. I'll let it grow on me. I'll let it grow on me. They're not going to fall out, so that's good. <laughs> that's good. You see how matte that stuff is? Like that, that, that pentar is amazing. Look how matte. Like there's no shine, no sheen, no, no nada. Nada, nada. All right, you guys. Um, they will eat the baby with my hand. Just to shoot by themselves. Uh, they don't, oh, that's good to know. That's good to know. That was a good size one too. Right after he caught that one, there was a black, there's two black racers, but and I tell you, I'm serious, like three seconds later, the black racer came by. He's like, there's another one. And it went into the garage shed. First time I seen that one scared the crap out of me. It was behind um, the strawberry bush or strawberry plant not too long ago. But I don't know. I, I, I had the beetle in my hair. That was that was pretty terrifying. I mean, that would have been a good video. <laughs> that would have been a good video. Embarrassing video. But you guys had a really, I love YouTube. I love you guys being here. This is awesome. So I appreciate your time. Um, you're probably going to see me again and again and again. And, uh, I hope I see you again and again and again. <laughs> uh, I think that's it for now. That's all I got for now. I got to think of projects for tomorrow and do other adult stuff and all that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, you guys have an amazing night again. Thank you so much for your time and stay safe. Bye guys. Ooh, what's that? Good night. Good night. We had baby copperhead in our, Ooh, oh, play dead. It wasn't. Ooh. Good night, guys.